video start. Here's how I feel. Here's what I think a few years after learning that Elvis III, the only male heir to the uh, legacy of Elvis Presley, uh, lost his life in, in his 20s. And I had, I didn't know that there was any. It's the uh, grandson of Elvis Presley. It's like the only Elvis on earth, whatever. Um, he has a shirt just like this one in a picture. And I had already had this shirt at that, at that time. Anyways, so in the last couple of days, I've learned, I've taught myself, I don't know, how to understand my own um, piece of the puzzle that fits into the world. And I am very likely related to this man going back to the first century, that's uh, coming up on 2,000 years. Uh, so middle name rhymes with hilarious. Uh, Marshall Mathers uh, gets his uh, name from here. And so, oh, I cannot press the back button. Uh, it's broken on my phone. I've made two video blogs that are an hour and a half long, have nothing to do with what I'm talking about today. I'll hopefully try to redo those at some point. And like I said at the closing of the 30 minute vlog yesterday, um, featuring a whole lot of stuff, uh, I said the first time I tried to record this, it was an hour long speech. And I was so excited when I pressed the stop recording button, the phone shut down and it's a corrupted file. And it was about corruption even, sort of like my hair. What's interesting is, I can't remember the official name of it, but in Hebrew there's some, uh, I, I don't know what to say. There, I almost don't want to even mention how I have these like locks that are uh, Orthodox Hebrew. I, I can do that with my with my hair here, with my hair here. Right. Anyways, um, I have this book that I've been reading for a long time. It's called The Way Things Work, David McCauley, um, and that's what got me interested in STEM science, electricity, uh, and math or something, technology. Uh, so I have a master's of science, but way before it was cool, way before people wanted to mention that. So, okay, so here's the analogy. It's like uh, standard aptitude analogy. Um, bad as a rapper, I accidentally typed that as the recommended search. So I didn't mean to search burrito. Bad as a rapper is to a Detroit model train city as um, Snoop Dogg is to the actual city of Detroit. Okay, so in a very similar way, um, I'll explain that in a minute. I am to a model train city of Detroit as Eminem, AKA Marshall Mathers, son of Debbie Mathers, is to the actual city of Detroit. That's just the size difference here. So it's like the model city train is like this big compared to something that's a factor of, I would say 10,000 times larger, uh, even though I'm 10,000 times more closely related to the actual uh, Martialis, Roman poet. Uh, I'm not gonna get into Ovidus Naso, uh, has a lot of good quotes that I've mentioned. Um, I'm not gonna get into Amerigo Vespucci, or Alessandro Volta, where we get our name Voltage and stuff like that. Uh, I don't know if Voltage is mentioned in this book. The Way Things Work, David McCauley. Uh, science, Engineering, uh, Electricity, and Math. <clears throat> okay, so let me show uh, very quickly um, how I, I would have to search on YouTube um, Loke Dog and his friends scene and show how a couple of the characters, Marlon Wayans himself is represented uh, badass, who looks like Snoopy the dog from uh, Snoopy and the bird uh, Woodstock from that uh, comic strip, Charlie Brown. And the way his face, he looks like that. And so, so does uh, Marlon Wayans when he juts out his jaw in a certain way. And I have more confidence in the accomplishments of Eminem, 
aka Marshall Mathers, than he himself. And it's like the strangest thing, it's a similar thing with now deceased badass. He had as much confidence as Snoop Dogg himself. Even though, size comparison, a international superstar, such as Snoop Dogg or Eminem, is like comparing an actual city of uh, Detroit to the model train city. Um, and I can't find one. Someone, some guy like, you know, tries to build a model city or something like that. So that's all. Also about Elvis, what, because uh, he has one of his closest friends, they had a group called The Lost Club, like in GTA 4, there's a gang called The Lost. And also the other two members were, um, I can never remember the name, he has a song, Ascension Millennium. The two guys from the early 90s, one was in a Stand By Me movie. Um, it's like, it's like, uh, they had the same name. They were like the Billy Club or something like that. The Club of Billies. I can't think of their two names. Anyways, check out the song Ascension Millennium. And so, yeah, but the idea is the song Where's Your Head At? Uh, that can be combined with uh, My Pillow slogan and uh, Folger's Best Part of Waking Up. All right, uh, video blog over. And if this one it uh, crashes, I'm gonna start being like, no, After the same way. Hopefully it doesn't crash. Oh, so I'll disable the camera. I think that's why it's been crashing. I'm gonna disable the camera and then stop recording.